This is called a utampo, and it's basically like a water bottle. And this is the casing for it. And this is a metal case with a rubber seal around the edge. And what you're going to do is open it up, boil some water. People like to use the utampo because it stays warm for such a long amount of time. It will stay warm well into the next day. It doesn't take so much electricity like a heater would. You fill it with the hot water once and it stays warm basically the rest of the night. So you need to fill it with the hot water. But I'll go ahead and warn you, it's going to be really, really hot and you want to make sure that you don't get any water on the cover because the water will transmit the heat and it'll burn you basically. You want to keep this part really dry. So what I like to do is use a separate rag to hold it like this while I pour the water. I hold it over the sink so it doesn't get everywhere. I'm trying to get it, you know, try not to let it spill too much because that water is really hot and it'll burn me. Spill it all the way up and screw that on. Screw it pretty tight. When you try to open it the next morning, it might be hard to get this part off. I kind of like to take like a spoon and stick it on like this. makes it a lot easier. You want to really dry it off. Because like I said, once that water gets on the cover, it's going to transmit the heat and it's going to feel really, really hot and you burn yourself. I'm going to slip it in the case. Be careful not to touch it. Zip it closed. And there you have it. It's really, really warm. So, you're going to go down to the bottom of your futon. And lift the covers and put it in around the around the place where your foot's gonna be and cover it up. And it'll be a real nice place to stick your feet when you get in the bed. You can find these at any drugstores, but any store, they're very popular. Different sizes and shapes, and some are plastic, some are metal. Now one thing I have a hard time doing, and if any of y'all happen to be an expert, if you can post. I'm curious, how do you dry them out? Like at the end of winter, when you're finished using it and want to store it until the next year, how do you get all the water out of it? It seems like no matter how much I shake it or how much I leave it in the sun or how much I try to evaporate it, there's always a little water left inside it. I have a really hard time with that. But maybe there's nothing you can do except just leave it in the sun several times. Let it slowly evaporate out. Of it. And they're quite durable.